Good morning, happy Friday, happy first day of the vlog. I am out walking with Cash. It is hot, but it's not super sunny, so that means that we can go a little bit further, I think. I'm gonna try to take a couple of extra roads or streets or whatever this morning to see if she'll <laughs> let me go a little bit longer. But what I wanna tell you is this morning while I was laying in bed, I was online shopping. I know I'm not the only one that does that. And I found the prettiest sequins, like silver sequins romper from Eloquy. So I placed an order for maybe six things, five or six things. They were having a big sale. So I'm excited for that to come in. I'm thinking that if it looks okay and fits okay, it would be a pretty outfit for my birthday. So my birthday is July 21st. I don't have any plans, <laughs> but, um, Maybe we'll be able to go out to dinner or something somewhere nice and I can wear it. it seems like today too is um, yard day for everybody in the neighborhood. I'm now sitting in my room, my filming room. I'm going to get ready and I want to film. Is that it? No, that's not it. I'll show you those shoes a little bit later. Um, it's my Macy's Swimsuit Saturday video. By the time you're watching this one, it's already up. I'll also show you a couple of my favorites if I have favorites. I don't even know because I haven't tried them on yet. But as I'm doing the video, if there's one that I really like, then I'll pop on here and show you. But what I wanted to say is that after my walk and shower, I was on the computer doing some work and realized that the Saharan, Saharan Desert Dust Bloom, Plume, the dust that's coming. <laughs> Um, I think it said last night on the National Weather Service Facebook page for Mobile that it hit the Gulf Coast yesterday. So maybe that's why it was just a little bit dull outside today. They say that it's just dust. There's no, you know, actual harm other than maybe some allergies and stuff. So it's supposed to be here all weekend and it's just a bunch of dust. So right now I'm going to get ready. This t-shirt is from Walmart, by the way, men's section for the win. It's just a really pretty tie-dye oversized t-shirt. That's not what you're here for. You're here because I'm telling you that I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> so I'm gonna get ready. I'll show you some favorites, but the next time you see me, let's do a little quick cut to me ready. And we're done. So I do need to just finger comb my hair. For you, it's been about less than a second. <laughs> For me, it's been about an hour. I get sucked into watching, I have this smart TV right here, and I've been watching Beauty and the Beast, and I think I'm on season three, episode nine or 10, sounds about right. And then I'm like doing my makeup, and then I sit here for like five minutes and just watch, you know what I mean? Um, so this is done. What I want to show you the shoes that I said I would tell you about earlier, we're going to talk about them now. So in my last video, I talked about these shoes from Walmart. They were $7.84. I feel like that sounds about right. They're hot pink, almost like Birkenstock dupes with the white hooks here. I love them. I wear them all the time. They're actually really comfortable and they're foamy, but they're not stiff at all. And they've got little grooves here for your toes and they're very comfortable and they do stretch for the most part. So this is the notch that it was on when I bought them. But once I put my feet into them, they kind of expand a little bit and they just fit really nice and they feel nice. I like them. They have this color in store. They also had a mint green, bluish color and white. But I got the hot pink because um, the photographer for Cotton Bay, Shelly, was wearing them at our last shoot. And I was like, I have to have them. So initially, I couldn't find them inside a store. So I went online and that's where these come in. And I ordered these. Um, I asked Shelly about it first and she was like, mm, I don't know if those are the same. Plus these were like $17, $18 after tax and everything, tax and shipping. Uh, shipping may have been free. Anyway, so these are the ones that came from the website. I'm not going to take them out of the package because honestly, I'm returning them. So here they are. I got them in a size 10 because Shelly said to size up, but I didn't have to. I actually sized down in these to a 7, 8. I'm typically a 9 or a 9 and a half. So these are the ones that I got online and you can tell the difference. Look how bright hot pink these are. And these are more of a dull pink. So I'm gonna return these because I don't need them because I have these. But I had a lot of people asking me about these hot pink shoes. I can't find them online. I can only find them in store. 
So I may go back. I almost actually, when I returned those Walmart shoes from my budget shopping video, I grabbed this t-shirt from the men's section. And I also grabbed another pair of these for my mom because I thought that she would really like them. They do have grips on the bottom so you're not slipping and sliding on the floor. Um, and I should have gotten me, I almost, almost, almost got that blue green color. And then I was like, why do I need all these shoes? Taryn, you don't need them. But I've worn these oh, probably every day since I got them. And they're so cute. And they're just so, I don't know, they're fun, they're summery. I think they look cute with like bike shorts and a t-shirt. I wore them the other day to get my nieces with a pair of skinny jeans and just a t-shirt and put these on because typically I would wear flip-flops, but I have these. It's coming out a little bit right there. Can you see that? Anyway, but, but I'm not mad about it because I love them and I wear them all the time. So now I will link the other ones down below if you just absolutely cannot find these in store. However, those are about, what, three times the price almost, and they're not this like hot pink color. They did have other colors, but these are just, if you can go into a store, you may have to go into multiple stores, but I love them. So now I'm gonna film my swimsuit video. It's from Macy's, it will be up Saturday. Again, I'll show you a swimsuit. If there's one that I really, really love, I'll show you. Um, in this video, but I'll also link it down below. I'm still waiting on one swimsuit and it's supposed to be here and I don't know what to do because this video is for tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and film what I can and edit and then maybe when that last swimsuit comes in, I'll just pop it on, do my little review, wrap it up and then throw that into the edited video and we're good to go. Here's a little sneak peek of this swimsuit. Even though this video is already live by the time that you're watching this, this swimsuit is adorable. How? I don't even know why I'm yelling. I don't know what I'm trying to say. This, everything about it. I love it. I love every single thing about it. This is so cute. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that's all you get. Down. Okay, they're done with the backyard. Why well, didn't realize y'all were so close? Um, okay, so I wanna go look out there first before I let Cash come out there just because I just want to see what it looks like. No, ma'am, not yet. Here we go. All right. Wow. It doesn't look like that big of a space, but y'all, there was so much dirt and so many rocks back here. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. And then we do have an outlet back here. So we'll put some furniture and maybe some lights or something back here. We also, we're gonna get a new pool line or we need one, not this year, um, but there's actually a light in there that someone covered up when they put this one in. So that'll be nice out here. It looks good. I am under strict orders to not let her use the bathroom on this grass. So we're gonna just watch her closely. What is it? God, is she gonna do it? I didn't even realize that they filled in all this right here. I guess this part, you can see the different colors. She would just run back and forth, back and forth, and there were some holes. So that's nice that they filled all that. Oh, and here's the pavers that are gonna go back over there. It's gonna look really nice. I'm a little all over the place today. I understand that. I just showed you my backyard, but this last swimsuit arrived from Macy's for tomorrow's video. So I just filmed it and talked about it and stuff. Can I show it to you? <laughs> because do I need it? Do I need this swimsuit? Be honest with me. Okay. It's got double straps. It has underwire in here. It's a V neck. I love a good V. The brand, I own a swimsuit in the same brand and it's held up for probably a year of wearing it pretty often and washing and drying it. I don't need it, but it's just, it fits so well. Good morning, happy Saturday. The air's on very high, it's hot. Um, it is about 10.30 on Saturday morning. It's 90 degrees, by the way. Um, Brian just went back in, he forgot his phone. I grabbed our masks out of my car and we're going to Home Depot and Lowe's. I wanna get my herbs and soil and sand. He needs to get some wood uh, to build that coffee buffet thingy that he's building for our kitchen. Um, and I think that's the plan for the day, which is nice that we're actually like getting out and doing something. I need to find the herbs. 
I don't think I'm in the right section. I thought I needed to be outside, but I guess I didn't want to buy the seeds. I wanted to buy them, you know what I'm talking about, kind of like already in a little thingy, but seems like seeds might be what I have to do. I did see some potting soil inside, so maybe we'll try, try that. All right, here we go. I guess I'm just gonna have to buy the little packet. Okay, I think I hit the jackpot. <laughs> okay, I'm new to this, so I need to figure out what I need to plant it in. Do I just get regular soil? Look at this, they have kits. Herb garden kits. Since I don't really know what I'm doing, we're gonna take this one, potting mix. It is $4.98, seems about right. Okay, I'm going to attempt, I'm not going to attempt, I am going to fill these cute little containers with the herbs that I got from Lowe's. So I got cilantro, basil, and oregano. I don't have like a proper scooper for gardening, so I have a measuring cup, but it's gonna be fine. And then I ended up getting this potting soil. Listen, I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. See how it turns out. I made myself a coffee. All right, let's go. We have these two pigs with little balls on the end. So I think I'm just gonna write a C, an O, and a B so that I know which is which instead of trying to make something because I don't really have anything to make. Let's do white or cilantro. These can't drain. Oh no. Can we help you? No, I just don't want to get stabbed in the finger by that thing. Okay. Hmm. That made a big hole. All right, so Brian's building our little coffee nook. Oh, I should have got it before so you could see. So he's got another leg like this that's gonna go at the top. Yeah, there we go. So this is gonna be the back. It's gonna have a shelf at the top and the bottom, obviously, and then a shelf on the top. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. And you're gonna paint it white. Yes. Yes, it's gonna be white. There we go. It's gonna be so nice. And we're gonna put the Keurig up here and all of our other stuff. It looks good. And for reference, the coffee thing that Brian is building will go here. So we used to have Cash's bowls here, but we moved them. I showed you that last week. I'll show you again in a second. So it's gonna go here. And it will sit just above the chair rail. So it's gonna be nice. Here's Cash's bowls, just in case you didn't watch. Last week, I think it was. Brian built this for her. Look how cute it's got her little name on it. He ordered something for Layla too, her name, and then he's gonna build something in addition to this. So it will still be this, but it will be like a larger piece so she has more room to stand. Good morning. Happy Monday. I guess Brian put the frog log out. Last night he was getting rocks. <laughs> I guess this is what it was for. I think I need to move it though. So there you go, the frog log, hopefully it works. Here's an update on the grass. It's still there, it's going strong. I like that they filled all this. Brian is off work today and he said that he would work out with me this morning, but he's dead asleep and I don't see him waking up now to do it. But I need to do it now because I take this little nugget with me and I need to get it done before it gets too hot.
Good morning, officially, here's my face. Today is a filming day. I worked out, we saw that, took a shower. I just, I wanna say I did work on the computer, but really I just watched YouTube videos. Um, so last night, I made a tie-dye t-shirt or a tank top because I wanted to do a fun 4th of July type outfit, video, picture, all of the above. Hold on, I'm trying to show you. Unfortunately, the red turned out pink. Here it is. I think I did a pretty good job with the spiral. Okay, it starts in the middle, spirals out. I used navy and red. I left some parts white, but unfortunately, it's pink and blue. And I even let this sit for, gosh, like eight hours last night. I want it to be like a big oversized tank top to wear over a swimsuit, or I kind of wanted to knot it up with a pair of blue jean shorts. So I don't know if I'm going to use it. Let me show you the other one I have. Don't judge me for this one. <laughs> it was like $4 at Walmart when I got the tank top. I saw this in the men's section. It's like a muscle shirt. It's kind of cute though. I kind of love it. So this was my backup in case the tank top didn't work out, but this would still be cute. Knotted up on the side with some shorts. I did buy some American flags. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? It could be cute. So here's what I'm thinking while well, I need to let the dog in. I don't think that I'm gonna use the tie-dyed tank top just because it doesn't really, it's not really what I want. But luckily I have the other one. So I'm gonna shoot this video. You'll see it tomorrow actually on Tuesday, tomorrow for me. So by the time this vlogs up, then this um, summer lookbook Pinterest inspired plus a couple of 4th of July outfits is already up. I'll link it down below. But what's fun is Thursday, I have scheduled myself a photo shoot with the photographer who does all the Cotton Bay clothing pictures. And we're gonna go to this really cool abandoned building and shoot some really fun outfits and stuff. So it won't be in this video. Yeah, you won't see it in this video, but I'm hoping that she'll let me just do like a behind the scenes, you know, just set up my camera and let's just film while I take pictures. So I think I'm gonna end up doing the skull muscle shirt. It's not my favorite, but again, the other one didn't work out. So now I am going to fix my hair and makeup and we're gonna film this video. Brian's home today. I laid out chicken for dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Update on the coffee bar, coffee bar. So Brian switched out the back. You can't really tell what, right now, but once it's painted, you'll be able to, what's it called? Beat beadboard beadboard so it's textured instead of just the plain black back so here's an update this is what he's working on today <laughs> chicken and veggie like stir fry like fajitas or just the stir fry uh, i hadn't planned on making stir fry what are you make making on the grill oh i thought we needed to eat those veggies oh i guess we do don't we yeah well, we could, these veggies, it's like a steamer. Yeah, I'm vlogging. It's a steamer bag, so these can go in the oven or the microwave. Or, we don't have to do them tonight. We can do them another night. Do you want me to make something to go with that chicken? Um, sure, you, you want to do these potatoes? Sure. These taters? Good morning, happy Tuesday. It's about 1040 in the morning. I am headed to a hair appointment. So that's the plan for today. My appointment's at 11. Um, and then I need to come home. I don't know if I'm gonna film. Oh, what I wanna tell y'all is that Urban Outfitters tea, so I ordered two. I feel like I said that on one of the vlogs. Um, they're like oversized dress tees are so cute. So I wanted to see if they were a proper fit for a curvier or a plus size body. So one of them came in. It's not as long as I would like. I haven't tried it on yet. So we'll try that on when we get home. Cash is just using the bathroom. Did you go? It's hot out here. I am home now. It is a little bit later. Here's what my hair looks like. Just a good old 
blonde highlights. All right, so I want to do this Urban Outfitters tee. I paid $40.56 for this tee. Like I mentioned, it's a size large, extra large, and it is this Def Leppard one. Here we go. See what I mean? It's a little bit short. Anyway, let's try it on. I'm wearing a pair of leggings. Here we go. So this is how the tee fits me. It's definitely not long on me like it looks online. I mean, it doesn't cover the front bits of me. Um, it's not oversized, in my opinion. I like my t-shirts a little bit big anyway. So for me to wear this with like bike shorts, I would want it even more oversized. I do like it with the bit of distressing and I like the color and stuff. A lot of people, is that my bra? It is, there's holes right there. Um, a lot of people suggested Rue 21 for these graphic oversized tees, which yes, I have seen them, but they never have them in my size, number one. But number two, they're not really oversized, like the look of these Urban Outfitters tees. Um, so I do have one more coming. It's a lighter color. I don't remember what it says. I don't know if I'll keep it. Do I need this? No. So anyway, there's that. There's the, the tea question that people have been asking me. There you go. I put my camera away and then I wanted to say that while it's not the right size or the size on me that I would want, it is super soft. It's 100% cotton. So it's very, it's not stiff at all. It's very soft. It's very comfortable. Um, so I think I'm going to keep it, I think. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here because though I haven't edited any of this, I feel like you have a lot to watch. Plus it is Tuesday afternoon. Tomorrow I'm just working all day and then you'll see this video on Thursday. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.